So here I'm going to be using, this is a Bonici white thread. Now, what I'm going to do is put a layer of thread halfway down, remove the waste piece, and then come halfway back up. This will give me the, the mark for the wing. Now, get some snowshoe. You take the longer fibres, the longest ones, nearer the toe, and then take them out. I'm shy, and then just going to tidy up the bottom a wee bit. Keep this; you can use that for dubbing. Don't throw away. Now, yeah. take out some of these longer fibres. Now, this is a big, a big mayfly, so don't don't be shy with the wing. Length: you're looking round. I would say at least the length of the hook. Let me tie this forward. There's my measure again. Take out the longer ones. So there's my measure. Just check. There we go. Tie that forward. Nice and tight. It's got to be tight with this. Then we cut these fibres at an angle so I get a tapered body. So you don't let them go until you trim it away. And then you've got to be really nice and tight now. I'll wax on my thread, which will always give you lots of grip. Now I'm just keeping my tips of my fingers on the cut ends so they don't roll too much. Just actually holds them. Now you can see what you get when you cut slightly, I mean, you use a tapered cut, and you get that tapered body, ideal for forming the body itself. There's a wee highlight at the back of this fly I'm going to use some red holographic tinsel. This is a medium. Now I'm just going to come round the bend slightly, not too much. Cash it on. Looking maybe a couple of millimetres or so. I'm going to wind the holographic tinsel over We touch of super glue so it doesn't pull off. Just a small tag. Do the extra one. You can always come over it a wee bit. Trim away the waste. Now the tail, the tail is a natural brown squirrel. It's quite a fine fibre, so don't be shy with the amount you put on. Tail length, it's wing length, hook. Hook length is just to balance the fly. So catch that on the top. It's fine. Trim it the full length of the body. And then what we're going to do is work our way up. Tying this in. Obviously, keeping the taper of the body. Now, as I say, we're going to use same material, you can use other materials for the, the dubbing, but the snowshoe is a great dubbing. So it helps help the fly to float and it's the right colour, it suits the fly. So we basically lightly dub it onto the thread. I'm going to wind down, forming the body and then using the thread on the way back up as a rib. So if you imagine, just working backwards in this case. Just work your way down, spreading the fibre as you go. You'll get a tapered body by rubbing the thread through the the material or the dubbing as you come up is just going to make sure it's not going to just the so basically fall apart. So I'll take away the excess and then come up through with the thread, the bare thread itself, all the way up to this point. And then we can take away the dubbing for our next fly. Now I'm going to form a, I'm going to use the grey again, but I'm going to use this as the as the hackle. So I need a, a dubbing loop. So I'm just going to lift the wing a wee bit, might just take the thread turns in front. And I'm going to form a dubbing loop, just forming, basically, when you're finger into the thread, form a, don't need a big loop. Catch it, but bring it to the 
the back of the fly. This is where you're going to start. And then take your thread to the front, to the point where you're going to tie off. Keep your finger in this loop of thread, and then get your dubbing twirler. This one here. Now I can basically put this one inside of my vise just now to keep the, the loop open. And then I can get some of the... It's not sure I but This is going to be, as I say, the, the hackle. Just trim it. There we go. Take some of the under far away. Keep that again for my next fly. And then I'm just going to off it into the loop of thread. It's important that you spread this. Spread it out. Use your fingers to... The more you spread it out, the better it actually, you don't want it in too thick there's more chance it'll pull out this way and you get a nice it'll spin easier as well so once you're happy, this is about maybe an inch and, inch and a half you spin the bobbin or the dubbin twirler, sorry do you feel it's tight enough? And then we just use it like a hackle. There's a couple of turns at the back. Lift the wing. And basically wind down. Get a turn and an extra. That's two turns into the third turn there. Which is ideal. Cross your thread. Just make sure you tie it in. Four turns there and then we fold it back. And any fibre going forward to the eye, I can then draw back with the thread. So I'm keeping it nice and tidy. Trim away the loop. And then we can put finish. Nice and tight. And Two, three, four. Tighten the knot. Turn the thread away. Now I'm going to get my Velcro. Just bring out a spun snowshoe for our hackle. And there we are. So uh, the gentleman that gave me this dressing uh, had many, many fish on it. Put that way. To see in snowshoe, all we have to do. You have varnish onto the head. The fly is finished.